going to be doing a watercolor. Let's just have some fun with it. First, I do have watercolor paper. And I have the corners marked out where my mat's going to go. So right now, I'm just splashing water. Not everywhere, just here and there. Just literally dumping water on my paper. Let's start with oh, some greens. Same brush, I just turning the other corner, pick up some blues. Gonna wash that. bright bright red maybe oh how about a touch there let's go into my yellows I've got it's bright yellow on one side sort of a yellow ochre on the other just now I'm just splashing some water here and there. Oh, I got a little darker red above in that corner. Maybe if I take it. Doesn't matter where it runs on there. If it goes outside the lines. Doesn't matter when I put the mat on. And then I might just sort of tilt it. Let it kind of excess run off. And I have some paper towels here. Just kind of mop up. All right. Let's line it up. And then with our smaller angle brush. I'm going to start picking out some shapes. So up here, maybe there's a, oh, I like that. looks like some kind of flower shape. Just using the color and whatever is on the paper right now to see what we can, what we can pull out. Maybe here. Get some of that bright red. Touching some yellows. Oh, that is a kind of an orange flavor. Let's see, how about I'm gonna go into some greens. Just randomly picking out shapes. Just having fun. We can go in do some details later. Maybe something up here. Oh, we got a lot of blue in here. Let's pick up some more. And how about some of the deeper reds? Back to my greens. Mixed with the greens. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little different color leaf. I'm going to clean my brush real good this time. Actually, wipe it off with my paper towel so I make sure I get all the color out. And then I just want to pick up straight yellow. Maybe. Yeah, nice bright yellow flower here. Need another one here. Oh, looks like a good spot. Let's add a little bit of the yellow ochre to it. Okay, I'm going to pick up 
just as part of the lid. Maybe touch. Losing my leg here. All right, let's go back maybe to my reds and the yellow ochre mixed. Get it sort of an orangey something down here. Get some color greens. It's sort of a bluish green. Add some yellow to that, brighten it up. We need something down here. Let's see. You know what? We got some blue up here. How about we just there we go. I drop some water in. Not, not a lot. I don't want a ton. Oh. And this is just salt. I'm not putting it anywhere, everywhere. I'm just here and there. Give it a second. Salt will absorb the color. And when it dries, you wipe it off, you'll get little blotches of color. So let's let that dry a little bit. And then we'll go in and actually work some detail. And now that we've let it dry a little bit, I'm going to tip it up. Okay, brush some of the salt off. Pop it up there. Now we can go in and actually start picking out some details. I did change my water so it's nice and clean. Yeah. Let's see what we want to start. I'm going to take a little blue just on the tip of here, just a little. Lots of water with that. I'm gonna kind of maybe around some of these. Maybe there's some sky or something you might see just up near the top. And I'm gonna take a touch of yellow. Just kind of just filling in some of these holes. I don't want to get rid of all of it. I like some of the white showing, but and I'm going to do some of the greens. It's a touch of the yellows. Maybe down here. And just basic green. I'm going to start picking out some leaves. Something maybe a fern type in here. You can also take a little bit of yellow and green and kind of form one side a little darker, get a line through it, get that. And it's, you know, I just, I'm not trying to form an actual leaf. I just want an impression of it. So, and then a little yellow on that side. Just something that resembles a leaf or something. All right, I think that's enough there. Let's go in and define some of the flowers. We got some of the reds. Pull. Just pull some. I don't want to lose the background flowers. I like that soft pastel look, but you can see how it just, you can't quite tell what that is, so we're just going to add just 
so it looks like a little detail. Nothing, nothing extreme. So I'm gonna take the bright red, maybe a touch of the yellow with it, just give it a little orangey color. Do a little dot in the center. That I think I'll, I'm gonna take my paper towel and just blot it a little bit. Yeah, I like that. This one has some bright yellow to it. And I still got a little bit of the red in it, so. And what else? It's plain yellow here. Just the outer ones. And then, it's almost like it's like a cup, almost like a cup turning up. And then, get a little bit darker yellow ochre for the center. Wash my brush off just so a little bit. All I got is wet brush, just no water on it. Just pull some of that darker color out. So you got a deeper color inside. And let's go back to the yellows and the bright reds. This one certainly needs a little help. And a little more brighter red. Yeah, that looks good. Over here, we got some of the oranges here. Just a little deeper, just sort of do that. And over in here, we need something. That's a definite blue. But I can see a little purple in there, so how about if we, instead of doing big ones, we're just gonna kind of do some individual right in there. Some of that deeper reds with the blues. And all of a sudden we've got a couple purple ones in there. Pick up a little more color. And a little more blue, a little more with the deeper reds, and maybe one more of the purplish one here. Back into a little bit of blue. Something right, right here. And you see, I sort of just one, two, three, maybe four, and then give it a little belly. All right, now I'm just going straight green, straight green. Let's give them some stems here. These guys need something to stand up on. And I'm gonna actually tap that a little bit on my paper towel. I don't want them all over. I just, you know, something indicate that there, there are some stems in here. Give it a little something going on there. There's just here and there. I don't want them all over. This one, I think I'm gonna go back into my little orangey. Oops, I got a little, still got a little green in there first. Let me clean it a little better. Kinda pull something out of the center. And I'm gonna just take some of my dark colors, my blues, my greens, a little bit of my dark reds, and just kinda Give a little, like little seed pods or something growing out of there. Just, just, if you give it just a touch of detail, you don't have to give it all the detail. Let your imagination tell you what it is. All right, back to some of my greens, a little of the yellows, maybe over here, some leaves coming out. Just kind of, now, Begin to look around, see where 
And I'm going outside the actual frame because when I frame it, I don't, I'm not stuck in there. I can bring it down, I can bring it up. In fact, I'm gonna show you a little here. Let's, if I went down here, so all those drip marks, let's pick up some reds, maybe a little blues. A touch of green here, some bright red over here. And then we kind of lift that up, let it let it drip. That's my paper towel. Okay, so we actually have more drip marks, and we can even add more water to that. This isn't dripping as good. Touch of the greens. Let that all drip. So when you're done, you can actually have a bigger frame. You decide what you like, what you want framed in your frame, what you don't want. Like I said, so you can even go in and add some detail in here. Let me get my smaller brush. looking pretty good. I don't think I need a lot more. Let's see, maybe I'll take a touch of the bright red. And then right in here, it's just kind of dull, so maybe. I'm gonna put a couple little bright sparklers in there, just Something like that, and then I'm gonna add it because I want them kind of faded out. I just wanted a little color in here. I didn't want something to really pop out at you. This is still wet, so I'm not gonna put the frame right against it. I don't want paint all over my frame, but you can sort of get an idea. Let me move that up. You can frame it like that, or you can even bring that frame down you can see how you can even turn that frame sideways what I want it. All right, let's find a dry spot. I think I'm going to sign this one. I'm just going to use an ink pen today. Because it is still a little damp. And here's this painting matted. Here, I have the painting matted going up and down rather than horizontal. You decide on how you want to present your painting. Have fun.